Hello everyone. So I'm just making a short video to tell everybody about the recent development uh, where uh, the iMacro plugin is not uh, compatible with Firefox 57 and newer. So on Firefox version 57 uh, and newer, you can't use the iMacro uh, plugin. So iMacro scripts, you can't use them. Um, uh, here we, uh, I'm here on the on the page from iMacros.net where they talk about the, the problem. So, hello users, I'm sure many of you have already noticed or have started wondering about iMacro compatibility. 56 at the time of writing uh, and especially what will happen after 57. So, and 57, ver uh, Mozilla Firefox 50, version 57, it came up, okay, it came out a few weeks ago. And ever since then iMacros haven't been working. Um, so uh, I had to change my operation, right? And what I did was I used Firefox portables. So portables, you don't have to install them on a portable device. You don't have to install it on a USB. You can just install it straight on your uh, on your laptop. I'm using Windows 10. My other laptop's using Windows 8.1, <coughs> and the portables are <coughs> and the portables are working just fine. Um, so and also you need iMacros version 8.9.7. This has been the case for a while now um, so anyway the point is if you want to use iMacros what can you do now right that's the question um, so I'm selling iMacros if you buy any of my gigs you receive an instructions file that I'm gonna show you anyway all right so this is a <clears throat> apart from the instructions file so uh, you have to install Firefox right to use iMacros now if you have no Firefox installed at all that you're on your computer then just install, go online, find an older version, version 56 or older, download it, install it, and then go in the in the settings of, of Firefox and disable automatic updates. And you're good. And then you can go to the to the iMacro uh, plugin, uh, like iMacro plugin for Firefox. There's like a versions page, and on the versions page you can find the uh, version 897. And install it on your on your Firefox. Um, now that's if you don't have Firefox. If you have Firefox already, it, but you're not using it, just I'm pretty sure this is how it works. You just need to go and download an outdated, like an older version of Firefox, and install it. And it's gonna like install over your current version, so it's gonna downgrade basically. Okay, I'm not 100 percent sure about this, but I'm pretty sure because I've done it once. Um, but you know, if you want, look into it. But anyway, the best option that I recommend is to use a portable Firefox. Okay, you can just use the portable Firefox. is the best way. You download the installer, you install the portable, you make one little change, and you have your own Firefox browser just sitting there. You can run it on its own. It's not tied to your main Firefox whatsoever. It doesn't affect it at all. You know, it's a pretty sweet solution. I actually, I've changed all of my macro stuff. <clears throat> iMacro scripts and <clears throat> the operation that I have for that. Oh my god. <clears throat> um, I've changed it all to using portables. So I'm using portables right now for all of my all of my macro uh, operation. Uh, so anyway, you, you come here, you get this link. I've uploaded an installer on my Dropbox. Okay, when you, you download it, you install it. A folder is going to be created on your desktop. And inside you have a fresh Firefox. And this is version 5502 which was the last most stable version f f between iMacros and Firefox, like in terms of, com of compatibility. But even version 56 of Firefox would work. Uh, so anyway, you download, you install the portable, and okay, there you go. In order to run the portable the same at the same time as your main Firefox, so in order to be able to run them both, your main Firefox and the portable Firefox at the same time, you just have to do this thing once. Go to the installation folder, click on other, click on source, like open the folders and then move the, this file Firefox portable.ini into the main installation folder now and then and then open that file and change this so it's false to this allow multiple instances to make it true okay save the file and that's it now you can run the Firefox uh, and once you once you open it disable uh, automatic updates and install the iMacro uh, plugin okay you can have the link you have the link here this is the link so you just go to this link and it's automatically going to prompt you to install the plugin see see the, the screenshot here 
that's what's going to show after you go to this link. But it's not going to show if you have Firefox 57. You gotta have Firefox 56 or older. Okay. Um, so anyway, you're going to install the the add-on, the plugin, and then you're going to go in after the the browser restarts. You're going to go to the add-ons and click more next to the macro add-on and scroll down and tick off next to automatic updates. So you don't want it to update. You want it to stay version 897, which we are installing right so now you have your iMacros working version 897 it's not going to update and you have your firefox going the portable which is also not going to update right and you can have that running all you want and iMacros work great i mean I'm, I'm still working i'm still collecting a lot of points using my scripts and doing my operation so that's just what i wanted to tell you guys now uh, th these guys here the iMacro developers whatever they said that they're gonna try to come up with an update by the end of the year. I don't, I don't know. Did they say it here? Maybe I read it somewhere else. Are busy developing a new version. Okay, our developers are busy developing a new version of iMacros for Firefox that supports the new API, and we hope to have something released as soon as possible, likely early in the new year. So, likely early in the new year. That's January. I'm making this video is the 26th of December 2017. So, you know, I hope they come out with something. Uh, but until then, we gotta, you know, make do with what we have, right? Anyway, guys, that's that's it for this video. I'm sure this is going to be of interest to some of you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, leave me a comment below this video. Also, like the video because I took the time to make it for you. <laughs> okay, and, um, and subscribe to my channel. And that's it. So, see you in the next video. Bye.